Now this is time, speed, and distance lesson six. In this, I will discuss question on escalator. Escalator you must have seen on metro moles. There are two types of escalators moving up. That is from ground floor to first floor or first floor to second floor, or moving down. That is second floor to the first floor. This is like the escalators. Escalators have their own speed, and that is measured in steps per second. Let's say escalator speed in our case is, for example, is two steps per second. It means that escalator is moving you up. Two steps in one second. Now the person, if your speed is zero, let's say person A is that his speed is zero steps per second. He he don't have his own speed. He just standing on the escalator, so he will move up with the speed of escalator. His effective speed would be two steps per second. The effective speed of A. Effective speed of A would be how much? Two steps per second. You are just standing. The person A is just standing on the escalator. Escalator is moving. He is just standing. He is not moving. So his speed would be the speed of escalator. That is two steps per second. The distance in such case questions of escalator. Distance is the total steps on escalators. Distance is total steps on escalator when it is when it is stopped. when the escalator is not moving you can see how many steps are there in the escalator and that is the distance traveled speed is steps per second speed of escalator i have seen i have written two steps per second let's assume the second case this is escalator moving two steps per second the person a is also moving in the same direction of escalator A speed is now let's say three steps per second. It means that he is himself is running on the escalator, moving up escalator. Escalator is moving. That person is also moving. He is in a hurry to catch a metro. His speed is three steps per second. Escalator speed is two steps per second. His effective speed would be effective speed of A in this case would be three plus two. That is five steps per second. it means that effectively he is moving five steps of escalator in one second now the very important concept a speed three steps per second three steps are steps of escalators these three steps are steps of escalators so he is himself is moving three steps of escalator in one second escalator is moving two steps of itself in one second so total effective speed would be five steps per second if the total steps we assume in the both the cases let's say total steps are total steps are 60 steps on the escalators so in this case a speed is the speed of escalator how many time how much time it will take time is distance upon speed 60 steps one need to cover and with a speed of 2 steps per second 30 seconds it will take a 30 seconds to reach the top that is from ground floor to first floor if he is not moving he is traveling with the speed of escalator but in second case if the same 60 steps are there total steps are 60 now time time will be we need to cover 60 steps what is the effective speed effective speed is 5 steps per second so in 12 seconds in this scenario a will reach to the top third scenario this is escalator is moving up with a speed of 2 steps per second now person is in some mode of adventure he is trying to come down on a moving escalator a a speed is again 3 steps per second in 1 second he can come down 3 steps but escalator is moving up two steps per second total steps are again ts total steps are 60 steps now how much time he will take to come down now he is moving down from first floor to the ground floor how much time will it will take effective speed effective speed of a 
would be his speed is is moving down three steps per second but escalator is moving up him that is two steps per second so effective speed of a would be how much three minus two that is one step per second it means that he will only come effectively one step down in one second so time he has to come down 60 steps would be 60 seconds in this case the time would be more 60 seconds first question is is take 60 seconds for p to climb up a moving up escalator first of all escalator is moving up this is a moving up escalator the speed of escalator is not given let's assume that it is e steps per second the speed of escalator e steps per second it means that escalator is moving e steps in one second now p takes 60 seconds to climb up a moving up escalator now we will assume that p speed is x steps per second x steps of escalator p is moving one second two situation given in one situation he is climbing up and one situation he is coming down on moving up escalator situation number one when he is climbing up his speed is x steps per second escalator speed is e steps per second this is situation number one situation say so first situation so what will be the effective speed effective speed will be x plus e steps per second this is speed time taken to cover the journey that is to reach the top floor or whatever floor you want to reach is 60 seconds into time 60 seconds this is equal to what is speed into time this is distance distance is the total steps on escalator this is distance that is total steps on escalators second situation is that he is moving down he is coming down on moving up escalator his speed is x steps per second but escalator is pushing him back so effective speed would be x minus e steps per second this is speed x minus e step x step he is more coming down but escalator is pushing him up so time effectively speed is less so time will be more as you can see that 90 second into time speed into time is distance again the same distance he will cover but distance is total steps of the escalator now you can solve this this is 32 is 60 33 is 90 just make the number small this is 2x plus 2e would be equals to 3x minus 3e you will get 5e is equals to x it means that x is equals to 5e now how long will it take him to move up the escalator when he switched off now first of all total steps we will calculate total steps his speed is x steps per second total step is you can calculate from here also here don't same equation same value will come so total step is x plus e into 60 now his speed is x we will put the value of e e value would be x by 5 or you can see that put the value of x as 5e this becomes 5e plus e into 60 that is 360e here we can't calculate the exact value of e and x so total steps would be 360e 60 into 60 360e the question says that what the question is asking when the escalator is switched off it means that escalator speed is zero how long will it take to move up the escalator so we need to calculate the time time what is time i'm just doing here time is distance upon speed distance is 360 e steps you need to cover what is the speed of person p his speed is x you can see that his speed is x that is 5e so he is moving 5e steps per second so how much time it will take divide this you will get 72 seconds so it will take 72 seconds for him to move up the escalator when it is switched off. So answer is 72 that is option number 1. Second question is in moving escalator from first floor to the ground floor. Now the escalator is moving from the first floor to the ground floor. 
escalate moving like this this let's say each steps per second is the speed of escalator moving down from first floor to the ground floor raj observed that it took him 30 second to reach the ground if he took 25 steps so let's say raj speed is x steps per second he is coming down x steps per second now we can make the equation time is 30 seconds two equation we can make here because one is steps are also given so effective speed is x plus e steps per second this is speed time is you know that 30 second time is 30 second this will to distance total steps of escalator this is one equation because effective speed would be x plus e 30 second is taking but also given that he took 25 steps 25 steps so his second equation we can make that raj steps plus escalator steps must be equal to total steps cover so raj steps we know that is 25 in how much second 30 second time is 30 second in 30 second escalator will cover how much 30 e steps this must be also equal to total steps so raj steps per escalator step is equal to total steps this is second equation 25 plus 3 e is equal to total steps Solve these two equations, what you will get? This is 30x plus 30e is equal to, because both are right side equal, so left side will also be equal to 25 plus 30e. I am making left hand side of both equal. 30 and 30 will be cancelled out. Can you say x is equal to 5 by 6? x is equal to 5 by 6. Now, second situation, the question is saying, if this tripled his speed, now instead of x steps per second, if his speed becomes 3x steps per second, that is, he is moving faster 3x steps per second. If his speed is 3x steps per second, speed is tripled, it takes him 18 seconds to do the same. Do the same is came down. So, effective speed is 3x plus e. He is coming down with the speed of 3x. Escalator is helping him. So, this is speed. Now, time is 18 seconds. How much distance? Distance is total distance from first floor to the ground floor. That is total steps of escalators. Now we get 3x plus this is the uh, sorry, this is the equation, third equation. Now you can make first any two equation first, second, and third equation equal, then you will get the value of your This is the third equation 3x plus e put the value of x 5 by 6 so this is 3 into 5 by 6 plus e into 18 these are the total steps i am putting the value of x in this equation put the value of x that is 3 into 5 by 6 e multiply this will get you get total steps is equals to 18 this is 45 plus e total steps cross multi with multiply with 18 this 15 by 6 into 18 will become 45 plus e total steps are 45 plus e put the value of this in this equation 25 plus 30 e is equals to total steps and this is equal to you know, you know that 45 plus e so you will get 29e is equal to 20. Now put the value of x in this equation. You will get this is 3 into 5 by 6 plus e into 18 that will be total steps. And total steps we know that from this equation is equal to 25 plus 30. Second equation total steps. So equation will come in, in both equation will come in, in you get the value of e so multiply this you will get 3 by 3 into 15 by 6 into 18 this is 45 plus 18 e is equals to 25 plus 30 e 12 e is equals to 20 you will get e is equals to 5 by 3 e as 5 by 3 
you got the value of e you got the value of x you can always calculate the total steps uh, put the value in this equation total steps were 25 plus 30 e put the value of e in this equation you go know total steps is 25 plus 30 e that is 25 plus 30 into 5 by 3 that is 25 plus 50 that is 75 steps will be your final answer now this question you can solve in exam around 2 minutes just need make to make the three simple equation find the value of x and e and put the value you will get the total steps so that was all about time speed and distance lessons 6 questions on escalators thank you